I'm a captain with school for over two years and a total of 46 years with the SI group and today is my last day of work with school as I'll be 65 tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. For those who have not met me before, you can call me CY. Right, huh? I'll uh, see some new faces. Uh, we're going to, going to be a normal flight as usual. Okay. Most people think that the pilot's job is quite relaxed on board, automation is on. You have to really prepare, keep yourself fit for the job, prepare for the flight, being on time, and on board, like a foreign life at stake behind, it's not so simple to stay alert, especially there's so many screens up there. I started off as an apprentice aircraft maintenance engineer. I joined SIA group when SIA was in the formation years. I converted to be a flight engineer in June 1980. This was actually me with my uh, captain and my co-pilot. I was a flight engineer seated behind them. Once the aircraft was on the ground, they allowed me to take the seat on the right hand side to just to take a picture. So yeah, shortly after that, you know, like I say, I went for my pilot conversion. I spent uh, about two and, a, two and a half years or so doing the uh, pilot conversion from scratch before I graduated to be a first officer. I would say I'm a complete pilot in the sense that I was a maintenance engineer, flight engineer, and then become a pilot. When he's in uniform, he is just dead serious. You know? uh, but once he's out of uniform, um, he'll be the first to ask you out for, for, for a meal, for a drink. And the uh, thing about him is that he's really, really, really generous. It's a milestone for him, uh, so I'm glad I was there to, to witness it. And a special announcement for me. I will be 65 in a few days' time. As such, uh, this is my last flight in school as a commercial pilot, and I shall be retiring after this flight. It has been the pleasure to have been able to serve one of you for the past 46 years or so through the Singapore Lines and especially to this subsidiary, Scoot Airlines. The onboard so-called celebration was a big surprise to me. I knew nothing about it basically, you know. I was just summoned to the cabin from the uh, cabin crew in charge to have a look at certain things. And I walked there. When I walked in, it was a big surprise for me. Words really kind of you know describe my uh, feeling for it. It was a pleasant surprise, very spontaneous from the uh, passengers as well. At the end of the flight, when you see a passenger disembark, you see the passengers thanking the uh, cabin crew for a job well done. That also uh, gives us a great satisfaction. You know that you and your team have put in a good work. This was a real pleasant surprise I got from my crew for after my last flight uh, the Nanjing uh, night stop. The pictures taken on board, the pictures uh, Nanjing as well, and uh, all the crew members' photographs are here. Which I'm very surprised at how she do it in such a short time, you know, and it's very nicely done, you know. I really, really appreciate the uh, way for all the hard work. I think this is one of the best mementos that I will have on my last flight. To me, it's not the end of the uh, time in aviation. Because to me, I think uh, 
ends of the end of a chapter, another door opens, another opportunity opens up. I think I'm still fit enough and uh, able to continue aviation, but in another aspect. So, I start off with the company since I was 18. Now I'm 65. I've seen it all, so I think I, uh, given given another chance, I'll do it all over again. <laughs>